Okay, so like we said about everything that we discussed, let's go ahead and talk about ratio and proportion. Okay, so let's start off with the topic ratio first. So let's start off this topic with a simple example. Let's say two people. Let's name those two people. If you were to name two people, let's say the first person was Alex. The second one was Sergio. And it said that Alex and Sergio uh, daily wages are $200 and $100. So we can predict <coughs> that the question is trying to tell us that Alex daily wages is equal to $200. That's the first thing that the question tells us. The second thing it tells us is that the Sergio, Sergio, <coughs> Sergio's daily wages is equal to $100. Okay? So what we are going to do here is that we are going to divide Oops. Do I the first one by the second one? So this is what I'm using right here. Okay? So how would it look like? Well it would basically be Alex daily wages divided by Sergio's daily wages which would be equal to having $200 on the top and having $100 on the bottom so we can see when we simplify this you have 2 over 1 so we can say you have so 2 over 1 is the ratio of uh, Alex daily wages to Sergio's daily wages. Now it's written as it's written as this. Okay? Now in order to pronounce this thing, you say 2 is to 1. So the the ratio between this two people's salary daily wages would be the ratio of 2 is to 1. Okay? Now while finding the ratio of two quantities, you must keep the uh, you must mind the units of these quantities should be the same. So the ratio of two quantities is a fraction that one quantity is of un, uh, is of other. So in ratio of the first term is called antecedent. Okay. So let's go ahead and erase this. Okay. So. In ratio, in ratio, first term is called antecedent. The second term is known as consequent. So, we had a ratio of 2 is to 1, right? So, 2 would be known as antecedent, while 1 would be known as consequent. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and now talk about the idea of proportion. So, whatever we just learned over here is the whole idea of ratio. Now, what we'll do is talk about proportion. So, let's go ahead and talk on the proportion. Okay, so, here we'll be talking about proportions, right? So, as you discussed in ratio, about the ratio of the particularly simple example, which was between Alex's uh, daily wages and Sergio's daily wages which the ratio that came out to be 
which would be 2 is to 1. Now, let's say, let's enroll a new name. Let's say, um, Damien. So, now Damien's daily salary is $400 and uh, Karan's salary is $200. So, what is the ratio between these two people? So, we can say that since Damien's salary is equal to $400, uh, $400 we can simply divide it by the salary that Karan gets which would be $200. So when we simplify this, you basically end up with 2 over 1. Now it's the same ratio as Alex, uh, Alex is to Sergio, so there's no worries. Now ratio of Damien's salary to Karan's salary is 2 is to 1, which is as the ratio of Alex's salary to Sergio's salary. Now ratios are in a proportion. So when two ratios are equal, they are known to be proportions. Now this is something that you need to focus on because many people confuse, uh, 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 con get confused on this. So what is the difference between ratio and proportion? Because technically, uh, when you end up with two ratios, you will have a proportion. So we can write this in words when two ratios are equal, they are called proportions. Okay, so we can say $200 is to $100 and we can also say $400 is to $200. Now, they are basically equal to each other, so it, we can call that the whole set is known to be in proportion. So let's go ahead and write it down the whole set of the proportion to, to get the idea of what I'm talking here. So the whole set of proportion. So in the first one, it would be $200 is to $100. Now in the second one, it was $400 to uh, $200. Now since the ratio came out to be the same, they're known to be in proportion. Now each of them though, is a ratio. Each of them is a ratio. So you guys don't get confused. When two ratios are similar or combined to each other, they are known as proportions. Okay? Now we have, now we, if you see, we are dealing with a, B, C, D. If you were to name it in uh, numerals, right? So let's go ahead and name this things in numerals. So let's go ahead and erase this. Erase this off. So let's go ahead and name them. So you have $200, let's name it A. $100, B. Uh, then you have $400, C. $200, D. Okay, now uh, we can say A is called first proportion, B is called second proportion, and C and D third. fourth proportion. Okay? So we can actually name them or by there is a written there is a written aspect how you can write it is by A is to B is to C is to D. Or we can also write this as by saying A 
or word B is to or is to equal to uh, C over D. Now, this is just one way. The other way of writing the same idea, the same proportion would be A times D would be equal when you multiply B times C. Okay? Because all you're doing is cross multiplying here. A times D is equal to B times C. Okay? This is the whole idea that is going on over here. So now what happens is when we start involving some complex examples, we need to start using this whole method. Now there is more method that is coming up and it's, it's between the first proportion and the fourth proportion uh, which is equal this is whole, the whole idea we can also say instead of saying A times D is equal to B times C though it's correct we can also say by numerical terms which I just uh, wrote over here now instead of saying A, is, uh, A times D let's use this so you have first proportion times the fourth proportion is equal to the second proportion times the third proportion easy idea okay now we can also demonstrate this idea by drawing something like this so you have A is to B is to C is to D okay now what's happening here is that you're multiplying A times D and you're multiplying B times C okay which basically makes it equal A times D is equal to B times C okay now let's go ahead and talk about something that has a continued proportion so if second and third proportion are same then the pro proportion are said to be continuous proportion so if you were to have 200 is to 400 is to 400 is to 800 which is an example of continuous proportion okay so let's go ahead and generalize this whole idea so it's act this topic is actually known as generalize generalizing so let's go ahead and write it down but we do need our key concept of ratio and proportion in it so generalizing so generalizing we said that a is to b is equal to b is to c now what's happening here we got that by saying we had a is to b is to c is to d right and it's a, since we have a continued proportion uh, the a is known to be the first proportion and the b is a mean and c is the uh, third proportion okay so here this is the mean this is the third proportion this is the first proportion okay so all you need is that right here now you can come up with this right here so let's go ahead and divide what we want to do now is divide both sides by b okay so now what you would have is that you would see something like this a over b is equal to c whoops b over c okay now you then cross multiply like I told you guys before so you have b squared is equal to a times c but what we want to do is find find the actual value of b so so what we are going to do is basically go like this b is equal to square root of a times c okay now it's actually a mean proportion mean proportion is equal to the first proportion times the third proportion this is the whole formula 
for this idea which is known as generalizing is demonstrated in this equation. So let's go ahead and take a ex uh, sample example, okay? Which means uh, it's pretty easy to understand this idea. So let's go ahead and take an example based on this idea. So let me go ahead and erase this. So the question says, find the mean proportion of 3 and 75, okay? So it says, mean proportion You're finding the mean proportion So how do we actually solve this? If you don't know the mean proportion, which means the value of B Well, it gives you number, which is 3 and 75 Right? So we can say uh, since we arrange, let's go ahead and arrange it. 3 is to B is to B is to 75. Now we can say 3 over B is equal to B over 75. That makes it B squared is equal to 3 times 75. Okay, now we said B is equal to square root of 3 times 75 which makes it b is equal to square root of 225 which makes it b is equal to 1 5 now notice I could have written uh, b is equal to plus or minus square root of 225 but notice that there is no negative number involved since this is of all positive digits because you, there is no negative money that you can give it to someone right so mean proportion if you have two positive digits, okay, the mean proportion wouldn't be negative. It's not even involved, okay? So if you were to give it, if you were to have like 10 to 100, what does it mean, a proportion of it? Well, since you're only talking about positive digits, you are not involving negative number. So it's literally useless to write plus or minus in this case, okay? So this is the reason why I didn't write plus and minus square root of the first proportion times the uh, th uh, third proportion okay so the, the mean proportion for this one would be 15 now I hope that you have understood this basic concept uh, and we'll now uh, do the questions related to this topic that I just uh, to, uh, discussed it with you guys now we will have some divided Questions of in this topic. So uh, if you, This is actually this is the whole concept now in my other video on extra examples on ratio and proportion I'll talk about those four types of uh, Four types of question that will appear on the test So if you guys understood this section if you're still good to go I would still recommend you to watch some part of the next video to make your skills even better now what we are going to do is move on to the extra examples video and we'll talk we'll take around 20 to 22 problems and solve them each and every uh, bit of them with uh, with taking a single step at a time so I hope you guys have mastered the skills that I just told uh, discussed it with you guys and I hope you guys have a great